Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo, and in this video I'm going to talk about all Harry Potter games for the PS4. Or rather the one PS4 Harry Potter game that comprises two games and the story pack you can download in another LEGO game. That takes you around 7 hours to beat, which is nice. It's a LEGO, it's a full LEGO experience. LEGO Harry Potter comprises two games, LEGO Harry Potter Years 1 to 4 and LEGO Harry Potter Years 5 to 7. It's sad to see that the PS4 didn't get any PS4 games. I mean, LEGO Harry Potter is a game developed for the previous generation. And Fantastic Beasts is a story arc in another LEGO game. It's not even a standalone game, even if by its length it could have been one. And if you're a fan of the wizarding world, just know that Fantastic Beasts isn't a true Harry Potter experience. It's not a true wizarding world experience. I mean, just look at the video. There's Aquaman, and Harry is next to Newt. Even if LEGO Dimensions Fantastic Beasts tries to summarize the Fantastic Beasts story arc in the LEGO formula, it just feels butchered. It doesn't feel like a Wizarding World game. I mean, come on, you play alongside Sonic the Hedgehog, Finn the Human, Jig the Dog. Does this look like a Harry Potter experience or a Wizarding World experience to you? Yes, it, it does, but it's a butchered experience. Don't get me wrong, I love LEGO Dimensions, I really like the game, but as a Harry Potter game, or as a Wizarding World game to be more accurate, you have to admit that it kinda butchers the real feel of the experience. I mean sure LEGO Dimension is cool, but it enhances the gameplay so much that you don't feel like in the original franchise anymore. It's like Skyrim when you mod it too much. Everyone get back. Still alive, prisoner. Keep close to me if you want to stay that way. I mean you like it, but it's not the same experience anymore. Sure you can play it with the normal characters from the story arc, and then it's just a regular Fantastic Beast Lego title. So, yeah, not being a LEGO standalone game has its perks. It's sad to see that the PS4 didn't get any PS4 games. I mean, LEGO Harry Potter is a game developed for the previous generation. And Fantastic Beasts is a story arc in another LEGO game. It's not even a standalone game, even if, by its length, it could have been one. Sure, the PS4 version of LEGO Harry Potter is a remastered version. You get better graphics. But what I want to say is that we didn't get anything new or anything normal new. I mean a new normal standalone Harry Potter game. Lego Harry Potter is fun, but for me, a Harry Potter fan, it's still sad to see that the PS4 didn't get a proper game set in the wizarding world. Sure, the Lego games are amazing and fun to play, but it would have been nice to get a game like Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix or the Half-Blood Prince for example. I will say that they could have made a Fantastic Beasts title but honestly it would probably have flopped. <clears throat> because the main selling point for the Harry Potter video games was always Hogwarts. Exploring the castle was always the best part about the games and the part that attracted the most people into playing the games. And you can see that especially when you see how disappointed people were with the Deadly Hallows games. But at least, there's a bright part too. LEGO Harry Potter is an all-round experience. You get to explore a LEGO version of Hogwarts, you also get the extras like Diagon Alley, Hogsmeade, you get duels, and all of this is coated in the classic LEGO formula. It has the brick building, the huge cast of characters you can use, you can cast multiple types of spells, and the humorous cutscenes always put a smile on my face. What I want to say is that even if it sucks as a Harry Potter fan that we didn't get a proper Harry Potter game on the PS4, at least LEGO Harry Potter comprises the books in a cute and fun way. I mean the games are fun to play no matter that you're a kid or an adult. They aren't book accurate, sure, but you can't deny that they are fun to play. And they are amazing games. 
even if they seem childish, I recommend you to try them if you haven't already. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.